Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. Uh, I've got an interesting little puzzle here. It's a pretty simple one, but uh, one that confuses a few people and one that uh, you might have to think about a little bit here. But um, the question here is a bat and a ball cost a dollar ten in total. The bat costs a dollar more than the ball. How much does the ball cost? All right, well, let's think about that one second here. Um, I will say the knee-jerk reaction, and I was guilty of it too, just without even thinking, but uh, um, the, the knee-jerk reaction is to say that the ball costs 10 cents because, you know, $1 plus 10 cents equals $1.10. But, however, if you think about it, the ball if the ball costs 10 cents, um, the bat can't be worth a dollar more than the ball at $1.10, right? The bat can't be worth a dollar ten because a dollar ten is what the bat and the ball together cost. So you really have to work this one out to see what the answer actually is. So this is a it's a nice little teaser. Um, first of all, what what I like to do is you know you could use x and y or a and b as variables. I just use I'm using variables here. I'm calling bat and ball. To me, it's just easier to do that. I'm saying bat plus ball equals a dollar ten because that's what they said the bat and the ball together cost a dollar ten and the other thing they told us in the question if you go back and look at it is that the bat is equal to the cost of the ball plus a dollar the bat is worth a dollar more than the ball well if you write that out as an equation i could say bat equals ball plus a dollar um, then, you know, you could treat this just like an alge algebra problem, basically. You could substitute, if we know that ball plus a dollar is the same thing as bat, well, then we could go back and say, well, we know bat plus ball equals a dollar ten. We could replace bat, and what I did here is I just put this in parentheses, but we could put, replace the variable bat with ball plus one dollar. So now you have, this is the bat plus the ball equals $1.10. But now you see the equation is just with one variable now. We have just ball. So we're going to solve for what ball equals this thing. So if you do that, um, you know, you would start out, you know, just like with any other equation, whatever you do on the left side, you can do on the right, right? So, um, you know, you've got, uh, um, you know, ball plus ball is two balls or two times ball same thing ball plus ball is two balls so i got i wrote it here as two ball plus a dollar equals a dollar ten all i did was simplify this equation and and make it like this and then from here whatever you do on the left you would do on the right if i add something to the left i have to add it to the right if i subtract something on the left i have to subtract them to the right so all i do here the next thing I do is I subtract a dollar from both sides of the equation. That leaves me with just two ball on the left side. It leaves me with 10 cents on the right side because a dollar 10 minus a dollar is 10 cents. Well, now you could divide both sides of this equation by two. So instead of two ball, you're just going to have two because two divided by two is one, right? You have one ball. And 10 cents divided by 2 is 5 cents. So it's a nickel. So what does that tell us? It tells us right there that the ball is worth a nickel, not uh, not 10 cents. And you can, uh, you know, go back and look at the original uh, equation here. You have bat plus ball equals $1.10. Uh, we know that bat plus a nickel, because the ball is worth a nickel, bat plus a nickel equals $1.10. So that means our bat equals a dollar five. Now, does that satisfy what we were told in the beginning? Um, well, yeah, it does, and we can go back up and look at that. Let me see if I can go back up there. Because a bat and a ball cost a dollar ten in total. The bat costs a dollar more than the ball. Well, we just figured out that the ball costs a nickel. It was five cents, right? So what's a dollar more than five cents? A dollar five. So we'll go back down here to them. Yeah, it is. It is, uh, you know, a dollar five. The bat's a dollar five. The ball is five cents. 
and that adds up to a dollar ten. So there's your answer.